And also Washington's top diplomat and in defense secretary visited Kyiv on Sunday, April the 24th, using its first official U.S. visit to Ukraine to announce a gradual return of U.S. diplomat and the nomination of a new ambassador. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin traveled to Poland on Saturday. They took a train. The following day into Ukraine, where they met President Vladimir Zelensky and other top Ukrainian officials. The visit was designed to show Western support for Ukraine, and the cabinet secretaries also pledged new aid worth $713 million for Zelensky's government and countries in the regions Ukraine's defense need, a Penton official said. We had an opportunity to demonstrate directly our strong support, our strong ongoing support for the Ukrainian government uh, and for the Ukrainian people. Um, this was, in our judgment, an important moment uh, to be there, uh, an important moment for, for Ukraine, uh, for the war, uh, an important moment to have face-to-face uh, -face conversations in detail uh, about the extraordinary support that we provided, security, economic, humanitarian, as well as the massive pressure that we've been exerting on Russia, and then to talk in detail about how we carry that forward uh, across all of those fronts. In terms of uh, our, their ability to win, uh, the first step in winning is believing that you can win. And so they believe that we can win. We believe that they, we can, win, they can win if they have the right uh, equipment, the right support, and we're going to do everything we can, continue to do everything we can, to ensure that that gets it. So we're, we're, uh, we're engaged with the Chad, engaged with the Minister of Defense. And as this fight evolves, uh, you know, their needs will change. And so as those needs change, we'd like to be one step ahead. Uh, but uh, we're, we're going to be responsive to what the Chad and Ahmad uh, believe that they need. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.